Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over a procedure for streaming a USB webcam from one Raspberry Pi to another. So I do want to say that I'm only streaming the video here, and there's quite a bit of a delay. So if that doesn't meet your needs, you may want to stop watching. So the Raspberry Pis I'm using is a Raspberry Pi 4 to stream the webcam, and it's being viewed by a Raspberry Pi 3. The webcam I'm using is a Jellycomb USB webcam that was provided to me by Jellycomb, but they have no association with this video otherwise, and I'll put some links in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is a little bit tricky for me to record. I'm recording two Raspberry Pi screens here, so hopefully this doesn't get too complicated. I've changed the host names of these to be Pi Webcam and Pi Viewer, so you can tell which one is which. The Pi Webcam has the webcam connected to it and will be streaming the webcam from that computer. So I am using Raspberry Pi OS. This would probably work on other Linux distributions on the Raspberry Pi. There are some prerequisites. You need v4l utils. So to install that you'd want to type sudo space app space install space v4l dash utils space and then also ffmpeg. So you type ffmpeg. You would hit enter and then let it install the software. So I've already installed that and it may already be installed on your system. Next, we want to know the IP address of each computer. So I want to type IP space A, hit enter, and I have these both plugged into Ethernet. So here I see the IP address is 192.168.7.222. So I'd want to do the same procedure on the Pi Viewer. So I'm going to run a command on the Pi webcam and the Pi Viewer. So let's switch over to the Pi Viewer and we'll get the command ready to go there. And this command will be ffplay space udp colon slash slash 192.168.7.222 colon 1234. So I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll have these commands where you can copy and paste them so you don't have to copy them from the video. So this command will use ffplay to connect to a UDP stream on the IP address of the webcam. So I have the IP address of 192.168.7.222 here. You can also put 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. and then we have colon one two three four that's the port we're using so we need to run this command first but we'll just leave this here ready to go we'll go to the webcam raspberry pi and enter the command there and that's this command so we have ffmpeg and then we have the format is v4l2 so this is video for linux 2 and the input format here is yui v422 so the other option here is mjpeg and i had better luck with this but if you're having trouble you might want to try mjpeg and i'm using this jellycomb webcam but it should be similar for other webcams i've also tried a logitech webcam and it works similarly next we have video size and for that i have 1920 by 1080. So if you have a lot of lag, you might want to lower this down to something like 1280 by 720, which would be 720p. You could probably even go lower than that if you wanted less latency. And then we have frame rate is 60. So that would be 60 frames per second. It doesn't seem to be super smooth, so I think it's probably dropping some of the frames. And then we have dash i forward slash dev forward slash video zero. So this is the webcam. So if for some reason you had multiple webcams plugged in, then this might be different. But if you just have one device plugged in, this should be the device for your webcam. Next, we have video codec H264 underscore OMX. So this encodes the raw video into H.264. And this codec specifically uses the hardware encoder in the Raspberry Pi. So that should take the load off of the processor. Next, we have PIX format is YUB420P. The bit rate is 3500K. So this is another parameter you could tweak pretty easily. I tried this at 5000 and I had trouble there, but I've also tried it at 500 and that seemed to work pretty good. So you can tweak this number for your needs. So if you're monitoring something, you might want to see how low you can go on this and still have a good image come through. And then we have dash F and this is our output format. And we have MPEG TS, so that's MPEG transport stream. And then we have a space and then we have UDP colon slash slash. And this is the IP address of our viewer. So it's 192.168.7.225. So I said on the viewer you can have 0, .0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.0, but on this one you actually do have to have the IP address of the viewer. And then we have colon 1234. So the colon 1234, we could change that to any other port that's a valid port. So I'm going to get this started here. I'll go back to the viewer. I'll hit enter here. And that will eventually time out. So I'm going to go back to the webcam and I'll hit enter here. And this should connect the two up. So it'll take a second before we see an image on the viewer. Okay, there we go. So I don't have a great image here. And there's a good size delay. I just raised my hand in the air. And any second here, there we go. So I calculated earlier, this had an eight second delay with my setup, but it can be different depending on the hardware you have. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 and a Raspberry Pi 3. If I had a Raspberry Pi 4 viewer, that could maybe speed it up. I'm running this on ethernet, 
If you're using Wi-Fi, that could slow things down too. So I'm going to do a little video clip with my phone so we can see the actual latency. So I'm going to put my finger up and then we'll see how long it takes to show on the screen. Okay, so there you can see the actual latency of it. So you're not going to use this for a weapon system where you need real-time support, which is good because I don't really want to help people build weapon systems on here. It's not my thing. You could potentially use this to monitor your kids. You'll have that delay. So if they have an immediate need that, you know, you have to have a sub-second response time, this is not going to work very well. But if you just generally want to see how they're doing, this could work. You could put something like this on a loading dock to see if a truck has arrived to be unloaded. Obviously, you can see the truck start to back in and, you know, it'll be eight seconds behind, but then you can go and retrieve the contents from the truck. So to get out of this, I'll just hit Q on the player, and then I can go back to the webcam, and I'll hit Q there, and that will stop the FFmpeg software on both of these. So I know this isn't a package solution, and it's not perfect, but I wanted to put this out there so people could maybe work with it and tweak it and own it to their needs. And I'm not necessarily saying this is the best way to do it either. This is just one way to do it, but there are certainly probably other ways to do it. There might be better ways to do it. So if you do have any suggestions on how to make this better, go ahead and drop a comment below, and then if you're watching this video, go ahead and read through the comments in case someone has left any improvements down there. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.